Now, not to piss on your lovely award, no. but uh, Robin, you won the Oscar <laughs> for. Uh... <laughs> So Just I've to hear you say that in a sense. <laughs> Not to wine. piss on your lovely award. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, wow. Uh, presumably that must be, uh, obviously, a career highlight. Did it change your life? No, for like a, a week. It was like, hey, congratulations, way to go. Goodwill hunting, way to go. Two weeks later, hey, Mark! <laughs> 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 Just back being that again. So it lasts, I mean, the moment they say your name when you win, English becomes a second language. <laughs> and I forgot to thank my mother, and she was in the audience. Oh. Yeah, that's, even the therapist went, get out! <laughs> like, oh, wow, that was, a bit, that was rough for the next few years. Like, oh, God. Oh, well, that... how's the award? <laughs> <laughs> you came through here, how's the award? <laughs> mm, good. I like it. You must have had the most amazing night when Lord of the Rings. What it, it, it oh, equals? God. It's the most it, most Oscar wins of all time. It equals so the record, didn't it? Surreal. It was eleven. Yeah, I think it was the most ever nominated and then won together. Yeah. Wow. But then I love this. You didn't go to all the kind of proper like you didn't go to the Vanity Fair parties or any <laughs> of that. Tell us where you went. Uh, the One Ring dot net. Um, the, the fans, basically, of Lord of the Rings had their own party, the One Ring party, uh, celebrating the Oscars, and we went to that party. <laughs> and <laughs> Billy Boyd is wonderful. That's great. And we, we actually, I believe we took the Oscars there and displayed them. I think Pete showed up and everything. Billy Boyd sang, uh, Dominic Monaghan sang. Whoa. It was just a joyous, beautiful oh. event. Oh, were people and we ended up staying there all night. We, we thought we were just gonna show up and kind of make an appearance and thank everyone for, for having a great party in our honor. And it was the best. We just stayed there. We made a videotape later called Hobbit's Gone Wild. <laughs> <laughs> Go get it up, Hobbit! <laughs> what, 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 big feet moving on! <laughs> it was a beautiful night because we felt like we, I mean, they were celebrating this thing with us. And, you know, so many of the people who were, who were a part of making the films were there at the Oscars that night, and oh, we, it, was huge. it was a big family. You know, we yeah, were yeah. celebrating as a family. It was beautiful. And was it at the Oscars or uh, no? It's Gold, Golden Globes, I think, where you were. Was it Jack Back, Nicholson backstage? Yeah. Were you waiting to go on with Jack Nicholson? I or? was waiting to go on to present an award. Jack was back there. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is good. Uh, <laughs> Jack was back there, and Dustin Hoffman was back there, and um, somehow Lord of the Rings came up in conversation, and he stood. He stood there, and he said, "You know." I can't do it, Jack. Oh, you can do it. No, go. I, I won't. I actually won't do it because you're too good. Uh, <laughs> but he basically said, you know, that movie, it just had so many endings. <laughs> it just wouldn't end. <laughs> and he said to me that he actually walked out before the end. He said, oh, that's how it started. He said, what happened? <laughs> and I said, Jack, what do you mean? What do you mean, what happened? He said, well, tell me what the end was. <laughs> and I said, well, you know, at the end, uh, the hobbits are saying goodbye to each other, and Frodo gets on the boat and, and sails into the Undying Lands. He said, I didn't even see it. I walked out before the end. <laughs> <laughs> so he was basically complaining that there were just too many endings to the Drugs film. Drugs wore off. That's yeah. amazing. <laughs> I have to go outside for a little medication. <laughs> When I won my Academy Award, he was there. He won, this was his third Academy Award. We're standing backstage because they're just about to take you to the press conference. And he goes, you know, Robbo, now I have one for every decade. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. 